Okay, folks, uh, <laughs> here I'll uh, attempt to show you what happens <laughs> when uh, things go north on you <laughs> on a project and uh, you have to revert to the uh, <laughs> emergency. Uh, uh, okay, this is uh, what it looks like. Remember I had showed you on the hood here? I had showed you... Uh, a window activator and a windshield wiper motor. Well, neither one worked out. <laughs> so I reverted to Amazon. This is a motor that I bought on Amazon for 80 some dollars Canadian. Uh, it's a 12 volt, 100 RPM. That's what this is going to be 100 RPM. What I did is I, uh, this little piece was on uh, the windshield washer, windshield wiper. But I don't like this setup here. I'm going to put some uh, silicone grease inside here. Then this fits tight in there so it'll seal. See what I did all around here. Uh, connection all around and around this plate here. This plate here, I put some um, uh, <laughs> Valco HV350, my famous glue. So I kind of sealed her up because, ah, uh, made in China, you know. Ah, another thing too that happened, eh? These, being that the motor's made in China, these uh, screws are not quarter inch you'd think by the looks of them but uh, nah uh, they're not even M10 they're M oh, what is it? M6 yeah M6 that's what they are so what I did <laughs> I had to do well I could have gone to uh, Lowe's and, and bought a few but I bought myself a little kit of metric screws so I'll have some for the next time I endeavor into a project. So to give me three bolts that fit on here, and uh, see the wires are, are waiting for me, but I'm going to probably have to extend those, but that's neither here nor there. That's somewhere else. <laughs> uh, I'll be mounting that right there. but. You won't be around when I do that. Uh, uh, I still have to figure how I'm going to do this. And then, uh, well, not how, but uh, I still have to do it. I, I'm going to build a little plate, put it on there, mount the motor to it, and then uh, and away we go. <laughs> but I'll, I'll bring you back when I've pulled ahead a little bit with this. So, uh, <laughs> stand by. <laughs> yeah, find something else to do until I bring you back. <laughs> okay, uh, folks, <laughs> that's the mounting of the new motor. It's, uh, it's all mounted. And uh, on the plate that I had done before, and here in between the two, that I have right now. I will we'll see how that works out. Right, I have right now from the motor to the little gear here is a, a chunk of uh, gas line. Yeah. Uh, at the worst case, <laughs> hang on, we're gonna go. It's, it's raining right now. We had some snow all through the night, and you can tell in front there how much we have, but uh, we'll sit inside here, yeah, Ooh. we'll sit inside here and I'll give you, oh, yeah, oh. hang on, I'll close the little tar tarp here, if you guys don't mind, a little bit anyways, you can hear that, hey, yeah. Uh, a show and tell 
This is the little switch here. See, hang on. See this lever here? Yeah, that's for the, it lifts and it lowers the, uh, the, the snow blower in front, the handle. See, cause I got one hand on the steering. This handle here is forward, forward, it's hydrostatic, eh? So it's forward and reverse. And this here is up and down, this handle here. So I thought of putting, but uh, in retrospect. <laughs> well, okay, and uh, that's that switch is mounted just on the side of the handle. But you know what, what I mounted it with? <laughs> My famous glue that I'm always using, the uh, Valco HV350. And uh, I tell you, it's solid. <laughs> I put some on the sides, I put some in the back here against the handle, and I put some on this side here, and I think I put a little bit underneath, but, <laughs> like, uh, think, uh, hang on, I'll, I'll, I'll show you how it works. See, if I go that way, the chute uh, goes that way, and if I go this, this way, with the, the chute goes this way. Uh, okay, I'll give you a bird's eye view. Hang on. This is the speed that I have with the chute. And uh, it's, it's just raining out there now. Okay, so yes, yeah, I think it's just perfect at beats beats uh, <laughs> doing it by hand and uh, uh, we'll see the only thing I may change is the location of this switch see cuz I always have a hand on the steering you got to steer if you're going forward and reverse and I have to have a hand on this handle here which is which is the forward and reverse so maybe in retrospect I should I ought to put the switch on that handle there, right here. But I didn't. So for now, <laughs> it's on this one. And we'll see. Uh, we're gonna, we'll live, we'll live with this for a little while. <laughs> I, it works and I'm really happy with the smoothness of it. Uh, that, uh, that little uh, gas gas uh, line gives it, and I, all I got is two tie wraps. Uh, they're big tie wraps. They're the ones with the uh, the good ones, <laughs> not the the a hundred for ten cents. They're those are the ones I have are, are the ones with the stainless steel clip inside. And. Uh, Anyways, I don't want to publicize the tie wraps or not. I've already did that, but that's the good tie wraps that I have on there. Uh, if that doesn't work out, like if I have too much flexibility in the gas gas line in between the uh, gear, little driven gear and the motor, what I'll be looking for is, because uh, it's the, the shafts are 3.8. So what I'd be looking for is a, a hydraulic line, well, probably a single braid hydraulic line. And then I'll put a, uh, you know the little clamps with the screws there, the screw clamps? Uh, that's what I'll do is I'll put one of those in that. That'll surely won't break, but uh, I don't think I have to go to that because uh, uh, I looked at this there and the way it's operating, even if I push it past the end, it flexes a little bit, but it's going to blow the fuse. Uh, the motor draws six amps. Yeah, I found that motor. It's got a 3.8 three, uh, three shaft on it. I found the motor. I don't know if I said that before on Amazon. And uh, it's 80, 
uh, I think 84 bucks or something like that on Amazon and uh, I had bought a coupling I had bought another 3.8 stainless steel shaft I was gonna put that rigid eh? and then uh, last night instead of sleeping like everybody else does I kept thinking of this eh? I said why am I putting a solid shaft uh, it's nice to have a little bit of flexibility and you know like uh, the big motors well they put these they call those uh, uh, Lovejoy coupling but uh, I'm not going to invest that much in the coupling costs about a hundred bucks so I'm not going to put a hundred bucks on that but uh, I was thinking of how, how can I make that flexible way right? The, uh, and then I said, geez, I could use, because the gas lines have a, a corded braid inside. It's like a nylon braid. I could use a, a refrigerant line. Uh, the, 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 you know, the, I, just because I have a, you know, the line sets to, for, to check refrigeration there. I have a, <laughs> in my private stock I have some of that but I don't want to cut that so I said the, the gas line's gonna do until I uh, I'm not happy with that and then I'll uh, look into uh, maybe uh, I may have some in my stock eh? but it's just a matter of uh, I have to go I have to go dig some out some hydraulic line that's Fits on the 38. Well, what it is is a hydraulic line with a 38 inside diameter. That's so <laughs> a matter of getting. Then I put some two clamps uh, on each end, and boom, that's it. But okay, end results. <laughs> I'll just give you a little peek at it. It's uh, maybe foggy in here. There. There you go. It's quiet too, eh? Well, it's quiet now, but uh, uh, I think uh, <laughs> once the blower's go, <laughs> yeah, it won't be bothering nothing. I'm all, uh, how do you see that? I'm all in twos. Uh, I'm really happy with the outcome on this. Yeah, all in all, well, all it is is a, well, a, a little motor, electric 12 volt motor that draws six six amps I have a 10 amp fuse I didn't show you all the integrities of this but uh, oh there's my see my little uh, <laughs> that's a noisy <laughs> but hey, that costs the wiper blade the arm the, the little bracket see there, there's only one screw here well I guess this uh, the tin here amplifies the sound, eh? <laughs> but uh, just that cost, uh, oh, I forget, I think uh, 60 bucks or something like that, eh? <laughs> so, yeah, you get for what you pay to, eh? Uh, even if it's made in China <laughs> or wherever, wing wang. <laughs> Anyways, folks, that's the story on the articulation motor. So if you guys want to get a good motor, you go on Amazon and you'll find them. They have a 3.8 uh, shaft on them. All the others have gears, but these here, 3.8 shaft, they're 80 bucks. There's one, that same company has one that's 50 RPM, and the one I bought is 100 RPM. But I think the 100 RPM is just perfect. <laughs> you don't want too fast because uh, you lose a lot of control on your shoe day eh? if you want to more or less inch it <laughs> well but it's fast enough that you're you're not losing any time trying to articulate the shoe okay folks <laughs> that's the story on this one I hope it's been uh, enlightening <laughs> enlightening for some of you and uh, well, uh, new, uh, Christmas is uh, on the way there, so <laughs> be kind to people. Okay, salute you all. 
and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>